In this video, we'll learn to use Joplin nodes. So let's get into it. Downloading the app is straightforward. Go to the website and click on the download button. Open the setup and install it as you install a software program. This is the main interface. You will have some welcome notes introducing the program. Joplin lets you type in the markdown language, which is why it has two tabs. On the left side, we write in markdown and the right side shows the note. You can scroll in any to scroll through the note. On the left, we have notebooks and tags. You can add a new book with this plus icon. These are the notes in this notebook. Joplin has a rich text editor that displays one interface. Click on this second button to enable it. Here you can type as you do in other note taking apps. However, the rich text editor is limited compared to its markdown editor. Let's go back and add a notebook. You can insert the title and choose an icon from the built-in emojis or add an image. Click OK to add the new notebook. Lastly, click on add note to add one. All empty. The notes title is on the top or your first words here will also work as the title. On the top are the quick markdown options. Let's add a heading by clicking on this H icon. By default, Joplin adds a heading too, but you can change it by adding or removing those hashtags. Three hashtags means heading three and one means heading one. Let's add a list and a few list items. Using Joplin is easy once you get the hang of markdown language. And it's good to learn markdown terms because many note taking apps use it. You can add checklists and mark them as you go. If you don't like to click on those, you can simply use markdown terms. For example, the text inside two double stars is bold. Joplin supports images and files and you can add them by clicking here and choosing the image. If a file is supported, you will see the preview. If it's not, you will see a file icon. The attached files can be downloaded. Let's see how to link notes with each other. Add a new note and add some content. To link to this newly created note, we'll right click on the note and copy the markdown link. Then highlight the text, click on this hyperlink option and paste this link. Then you can just click on it to open this page. This way we can also link to external websites. Highlight the text and click on the icon and insert the link of the web page. Let's add some text now. Click on the tag option to see all the tags. Search for the tag in the search box. If no tag exists, click create and then click OK. Once the tag is created and attached, you will see it here with the total notes. You can click on a tag to see all the notes in any notebook. For example, if I add this website tag to the welcome page, I'll see the page along with others here. Next, Joplin supports adding to-do notes. Click here to add one. To-do notes have a check mark. You can add the same information here and when the task is complete, click on the check mark to mark it as complete. All the options in Joplin are in tools and then options. Let's enable the dark mode in the appearance settings. It has a few theme options. Joplin also has some plugins and you can see and install them here. Let's install the templates plugin that will allow us to create and use templates. After installing a plugin, you must restart the app. Click here to restart it. Joplin also supports syncing nodes to the cloud. You can use its own premium service or one of those. To add any, click on this sync wizard button. I'll use OneDrive. You will see this page and the link. Click on it and a page will open to log in with your account. After that, allow access to sync your Joplin account. A message will appear. Let's go back to Joplin. Once connected, you will see the service name in this drop down. You can adjust the sync interval below or let's go back to the main interface. Here you will see the current sync progress. To sync anytime, click on this synchronize button. 
Joplin supports exporting and importing nodes. To export a single node, right click on it and hover over export. You will see the supported formats. You can import nodes by going to file and then import. Finally, to export all the nodes, click on the export all button. Joplin is more than that, but this is it for this beginner's tutorial. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you need any help. Take care.